teachers are a really important part of your learning experience at university. They often involve having lots of new information and ideas delivered to you in a relatively short space of time while you frantically try to write down as many facts as possible. In this video, we're going to talk about how to make this process a little bit more productive so you can get the best lecture notes for you. What good lecture notes actually look like can depend on a lot of different things. What are you using to take your notes? Are you handwriting them or maybe typing them? Are you doing something else like using lecture recordings to access your information? While we can't necessarily tell you exactly how to do things, because everyone is different, we will give you some top tips for success. First of all, develop a pre-lecture routine. Attending a lecture can be fun, challenging and quite honestly sometimes a little bit exhausting. Going to a lecture, whether online or in person, especially if this means multiple ones in a single day, can start to feel a bit like an endurance sport. Your brain is effectively running a marathon and you can help make sure you've set yourself up for success by developing a pre-lecture routine. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean drinking a protein drink or eating copious amounts of bananas, even though you can do that if it helps. There are a few simple things to help you get in the right mindset. Firstly, arrive early. It sounds obvious, but if you can do this, it means you can get a good seat with a good view. This also matters if you're watching a recorded lecture or a live stream. Try to get where you need to be around three to five minutes before the start so you can get set up and ready. If your lecture is following on from a previous one, skim through your notes to refresh your mind on what was discussed before. Part of this preparation process should also include getting your new notes ready. Make sure you put the date and topic of the lecture at the top of your page and start new notes on a new page to help with filing your notes later. If you're doing your notes electronically, use a similar approach and make sure you have a filing system that means your notes don't get mixed up. You'll want to be able to access them easily and quickly when you're returning to them for writing essays or revising for exams. Right. The lecture has started. Now, it might be tempting to capture everything your lecturer says, but don't forget, you're not transcribing the lecture. Not only is this impossible, no matter how quickly you write, it also means you're concentrating too much on writing stuff down and not enough on what's actually being said. Also, just because you've written everything down doesn't mean you're actually guaranteed to understand it. Write actively. By this, we mean listen out for those nuggets or gems of really useful information. Use the structure of your lecture to your advantage. A lecturer might say things like, the main point of this is, or they might repeat a concept several times. This is probably going to give you a massive hint that this is important and worth writing down, even if you don't quite understand it yet. Have a few questions in your mind. What do you hope the lecture will cover? Are there any things that you're unsure about? These might be questions you ask in the lecture, in a supervision, or simply something that you go away with and research after. Again, a lot of these tips will work for live and recorded lectures, but a word of warning about recorded lectures. Having a recording can be super useful for a multitude of different reasons, but don't forget to engage with them as actively as you can using the tips in this video. Yes, you're not sat in the room, but you can still get a lot from engaging with a recording in a structured way rather than sitting and letting your mind wander, something that is very easy to do when sitting in front of a screen. Speaking of structure, try to use a similar structure across all of your lectures when writing out your notes. There are many ways of doing this, but one way we find helpful is to treat your lecture as if it is a story. All good stories have a beginning, a middle, and an end. You can tell when the beginning of a lecture is happening because, well, it happens at the start. But it is also one of the most valuable parts of the lecture, which is why it's really useful to get to a lecture early and be ready to get this information written down. A lecturer will often use this beginning to explain what the lecture will cover, and they might even give you a few themes or key headings that you can then use for structuring your notes as the lecture continues. The middle of the lecture is where a lot of key information is, 
get down any key names, dates, ideas and headings, especially if the lecture highlights them as being important. Remember your signpost words. If a lecturer is emphasising something, it's probably worth writing down. Be engaged in your note taking. Is there something you don't understand? Make a note of it. How does what the lecturer is saying fit in with what you already know about the subject? Try using abbreviations for longer terms. Just remember to make a note of what they actually mean so future you can make sense of it all later. And then, after all the writing, we've come to the end of your lecture. The last few minutes of a lecture are often the most missed, but the most important. They often include a summary of relevant conclusions. This part of the lecture can be missed by students either because the slides have stopped, giving the impression of it all being over, or you've quite honestly had enough and your brain has switched off. Sometimes you and other students are already dashing off to the next lecture. But do try and stick around. These moments can give you real insights. Congratulations! You've just survived your lecture and you have some helpful notes to use too. Now keep those notes safe, you'll be using them again soon to build on your knowledge and to consolidate all of the information that you'll be absorbing in other places such as practicals, supervisions and through your own reading. Nice work! Thank you.